Hey guys, this is Dr. McFarland, and if you're like me, you probably just got the new M1 Mac Mini, and you also got a widescreen monitor for your home studio. But when you first plug it in, it doesn't look as good as what you thought it should have. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get to the right setting so you can make everything look just how you want. Now, just for example, let's go ahead and bring up some software here. And what we have in front of us is Harrison Mixbus. So you can see that the EQ and the SANS are not showing up like they should. And normally they would be stacked, but something tells me that the resolution is a little bit off. So this is gonna be the test to see if we can get this working or not. So what we have to do is go up to our Apple, then System Preferences, and you need to click on Displays. Now we currently have this set for default for display. By holding down Option and clicking on Scaled, you can see that we have a lot more options available to us. So for me, I've already determined that 3440 by 1440 is a good look for this screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And now all the icons look just how they did before on my smaller 27 inch screen, which is also a 2K monitor. So this looks really good. And let's go back to our Harrison Mix Bus. And this is really the reason why I got this monitor so I can see all 12 Mix Buses and as many different tracks as I have available at one time. Okay, everything looks good on the screen. And you can also see that we have, once again, our EQ over our sins. Because what you have to have with the monitor is a minimum of 1200 pixels in height. And if you have a plain 1080p monitor, then you're never gonna get the EQ and the sins to show at the same time on the screen. Now what I can do is go back into preferences, size and scale, and let's scale this up to about 110. That looks pretty good, but let's see what 120 looks like. And there we go. So now I can see the knobs nice and big on the screen. I can see plenty of tracks all at one time, and all my mix buses are there as well. So just to reiterate, we need to go to Apple, System Preferences, go to our display, and then hold down Option as you're clicking on Scaled. And you should be able to find the right resolution for your particular monitor. I know this wasn't my normal guitar or recording style video, but I wanted to make this video for anybody out there who has had issues with their new Mac Mini and a widescreen monitor. If you like these kind of videos, be sure to subscribe down below and click the bell. And in the meantime, I'm Dr. McFarland. I will see you in the next video. Keep rocking.